I rise today uh, with concern regarding the nomination of Mr. Robert Groves to serve as director of the census. I have some of the same concerns that my colleague from Louisiana has. Conducting the census is a vital constitutional obligation, Madam President. Under the U.S. Constitution, the country conducts a census every 10 years to determine apportionment to Congress. Article 1, Section 2 of the Constitution mandates, quote, enumeration to determine the allocation of seats for each state in, US, in the U.S. House of Representatives, as you well know. By extension, Madam President, the census also determines the composition of the Electoral College, which chooses the President of the United States. The information collected from the census has a significant impact on the distribution of political power in this country. The results of this process are a major factor in deciding where congressional district lines are drawn within each state. Through redistricting, political parties can maximize their own party's clout while minimizing the opposition. If the census were politicized, the party in control could arguably perpetuate its hold on political power. Madam President, the results of the census are also enormously important in another way, the allocation of federal funds. Theoretically, if the census were to become politicized, the political party controlling the census process could disproportionately steer federal funding to areas dominated by its own members through a skewing of census numbers. Madam President, this could shift billions of federal dollars for roads, schools, and hospitals over the next 10 years from some parts of the country to others because of the population-driven financing formula. Madam President, the census is vastly important and must proceed in as a reliable and accurate manner as possible. On March the 20th of this year, I wrote to President Obama regarding reports that the Association of Community Organizations for Reform that we know as ACORN, and that's what they go by, had signed as a national partner with the U.S. Census Bureau to assist with recruiting temporary census workers. I want to say this again, because it was disturbing to me. On March the 20th, I wrote to President Obama regarding reports that the Association of Community Organizations for Reform, ACORN, had signed as a national partner with the U.S. Census Bureau to assist the census with recruiting temporary census workers. That letter remains unanswered. Now, I cannot support the nomination of Mr. Groves when the administration he works for would partner with such a questionable organization as ACORN. Further, I'm dismayed that Mr. Groves, the nominee to head the U.S. Census Bureau, would not denounce ACORN's role in the census. Let me tell you a little about ACORN as I understand it. Madam President, ACORN has, has had numerous allegations of fraud which would raise great concern about the accuracy of the data it would provide to the census, for example. Washington State filed felony charges in 2007 against several paid ACORN employees and supervisors for falsifying 1,700 fraudulent voter registration cards. An ACORN worker in the state of Pennsylvania was sentenced in 2008 for fabricating 29 falsified voter registration forms. In Ohio, in 2004, a worker from one affiliate of ACORN was given crack cocaine in exchange for fraudulent registrations that included underage as well as dead voters. ACORN has been implicated in similar voter registration schemes around the country, and its activities were frequently questioned throughout the 2008 presidential election. Madam President, I believe the census must be nonpartisan. It must be totally above reproach. It must be honest. We cannot allow, I believe, uh, a biased, politically active organization to take any type of official role in the proce process, let alone recruit workers for the census people. By overcounting here and undercounting there,
Manipulation could take place solely for political gain. Using ACORN to mobilize hundreds of thousands of temporary workers can surely lead to abuses for those who want to gain political advantage, just as we saw with the voter registration issues in past elections. Madam President, the laws that govern voter fraud were not enough to dissuade those with the intent to throw an election. It is doubtful that the laws governing fraud in the census will be any more effective against such deceitful intents. And Madam President, the people of this nation deserve a census that is conducted in a fair and accurate manner, using the best methods to determine the outcome, and that is free from political tampering. Given ACORN's history and political connections, the U.S. Census Bureau should not partner with an organization that has systemic problems with both accuracy and legitimacy. While I cannot support Mr. Grove's nomination, Madam President, I hope he will carefully review this issue and terminate ACORN's role in the 2010 census. It would be a big first step for him. We must not let the census become a blatant political tool in this country.